Hi guys, it's Lindsay and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am taking you along with me on my self-proclaimed self-care day that has been honestly in order for a long time. I have not been feeling very well both physically and mentally. Those are very tied together for me. When I'm stressed, I don't feel well. And when I don't feel great, I tend to get more stressed. So I have been looking forward to having today to relax, get my work done, and also like get my nails done and maybe go shopping a little bit, like do some things truly just for fun and for myself. I so far have turned off all of my important social media apps like Instagram and Twitter so that I am not getting stressed out early in the morning. And my parents are watching the dog for the weekend because tomorrow is actually my three year anniversary with my boyfriend. So we are going to be spending the day at the beach is our plan. And I also booked us a dinner reservation, of course, um, for Italian food because that is just peak romance. Now that I have my latte, we can begin getting ready, um, which is the first step for me before I do really anything. Putting on some sunscreen. It's from Versed and I like that it's tinted. I've mentioned it a few times before. I'm a big sunscreen gal, have to wear it. Depending on what my top is like, I always put sunscreen on my arms as well these days because I just, you know, am very, very cautious about sun exposure on my little agenda today. It's a very loose agenda because I'm just doing fun things today for the most part. Um, I really wanted to go to this store that has all clean beauty in person. So you're not just like guessing what shades are gonna work since that's always what I'm doing. Um, and they have like Ilia, Kosas, Well People, and I'm actually like almost out of my Well People brow product. So I really wanna go, it's called Credo. They also have an online store. It's not even summer yet and it's just way too warm to be wearing full foundation. So that's pretty much it. Uh, coverage wise, but I'm gonna put on some cream bronzer from Fenty. I tried this in a vlog not that long ago and I have been wearing it every single time I wear makeup since because it is just that good. Buying new makeup just feels like such a treat yourself thing because it comes in like the prettiest packaging and like I already have makeup, so it's just kind of like, I don't know, it feels very decadent. I really rarely ever buy new makeup. Those brows might be too dark. I think I need the lighter shade in this. In this lighting, you can't really tell, but my hair is so much lighter than it used to be like a year ago. I was dyeing my hair dark, dark brown, almost black for about four or five years. And that's not my natural hair color. This isn't even my natural hair color. We're getting there slowly, um, but it's been fun going lighter. It just like, I feel like it does look more natural. All of my old dark brow products don't work. Like I'm just still getting used to it. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Kisser Lip Balm. I was just telling all of my best friends to buy this the other day when I saw them because like, it's just so comfortable. And now to finish off the look with some Bite Mascara. That is the completed makeup. And then my hair is just some second day curls with dry shampoo and some hairspray, all from Amika. That is the hair care brand that I swear by. And now to accessorize with some jewelry, which actually brings us to the sponsor of this video, which is Monica Vinader. They are a UK based jewelry brand making such beautiful pieces and they really value sustainability, which is super important to me. All of these pieces I'm going to show you guys are 100% recycled silver and gold vermeil. They have a five year warranty and a lifetime service guarantee. So if you ever break or damage your pieces, they can actually fix them for you instead of just going out and buying a new piece because repairing is actually part of reusing and recycling and something that not a lot of people focus on. The first thing that I picked out from their spring collection are these hoops, which are the Dea hoops. And I really love just what an organic shape these are. They have slightly hammered metal, but they are hollow. So that means that they are very lightweight and comfortable to wear. I wore these last night to my friend's birthday 
birthday dinner and got so many compliments on them. These might be my favorite thing, but it's so hard to pick. Then I got three rings. These all have a similar kind of organic shape to them, but just different sizes. So this one on top is the Dea domed ring, then just the Dea ring, and lastly, the Nura reef ring. This is what they look like. They are super comfortable and not only do they sell half sizes, but they sell quarter sizes. It is amazing. So I was really able to get these down to my exact size because I do have half size fingers. If you can relate to that, I got a textured chain anklet because I don't own an anklet and I feel like that is just such a summer trend and something that I need to try. So I'm going to put this on. Why not accessorize truly every part of your body? even your ankles. And lastly, I have two necklaces, which feature some of their beautiful pendants. This one is the Doina pendant, which is basically like a cute little basket weave. And then the second one has this gold drop on the bottom. It is the Nura Pearl. And this is what they look like layered. And now I'm all decked out and I just feel so much more myself. Nothing is complete without some gold jewelry. So thank you so much to Monica Vinader for sponsoring this video. I am seriously such a huge fan. And if you're interested in trying any of her products, I will link them in the description box. I just did some work on my computer, which was not very exciting so didn't film any of that, but I am now going to get my nails done and I know what colors I'm gonna do. Here is my outfit for today. I normally would wear this with platforms because these pants are pretty long, but because I'm about to get my nails done, I had to wear sandals. And then this bag is actually from a Proenza Schooler. I had it in tan back in high school actually, and just got the black version on the real real because I really love the shape of this bag. So that is the story on that. I wanted to mention, I've been taking these every afternoon with my usual supplements. It's supposed to help with like mood and general stress function. So we'll see how that goes. I'm trying to keep it consistent to see if I can notice a difference. Really hoping this brings my mood up. Um, I have to admit, I scrolled on Instagram and Twitter. I did not keep to my promise, and I don't know if that's why I feel the way I do, but I was really emotional yesterday, and I feel like that's just still kind of weighing over me, and there's just a lot going on, and it feels very heavy and so I'm gonna go look at some blush colors and um, then get my hands massaged and hopefully feel a bit better. Um, I might like take a hot shower uh, when I get home even though my hair looks pretty good, not gonna lie. Staying calm, doing a lot of deep breathing, enjoying the day, <sighs> trying my best. I feel fantastic. I got my toes done. I didn't end up getting my nails done because they were pretty busy. So I'm just gonna paint them at home. And then what I got at Credo, I got a multi-stick from Ilia. So this is like a multiple use blush stick. You can use it on your lips and cheeks. And I got it in the color I put a spell on you which is like a nice coral. It just seemed very up my alley. I had her like swatch a few for me because that is like the new protocol. And then I repurchased my Well People brow gel that I use every single day. And this is in brown instead of dark brown, which is what I have on my eyebrows today. Anyways, feeling a lot better. We love self-care. is growing so much. 
just had to share. I just wanted to come on here to end this vlog and also talk a little bit about self-care and rest and what that looks like because I, you know, obviously treated myself in this video. I spent some money. I did some things that are a little bit frivolous, but I also read, I took a nap, I took a shower, I called my mom and I did things that like rejuvenate and re-energize me deeply internally and that is like just such an important aspect of self-care. I really wanted to share this post that I just saw on Instagram. This is adapted from the work of Sandra Dalton Smith. I will link her TED talk below, but this is basically the seven different types of rest. I found this so interesting. Looking at it broken down like this makes it a lot easier to kind of ask yourself and your body what kind of rest that you need. So I'm just gonna go through these with you. Hopefully you enjoy them as much as I did. The first one is physical rest. So that is what we think of as sleeping or napping and that is considered passive rest, but there is also active physical rest. So that would be like doing yoga or Pilates. Those are things that make me feel fantastic. Um, and they do honestly relax you. They feel like rest in a way. The second type is mental rest, and so that is described as taking breaks during your everyday to journal or meditate. It's pretty much exactly what it sounds like, but I think it's really important, especially if you do work a nine to five or you just like tend to distract yourself from what you were actually feeling inside, which is something I do. Set aside some time to ask yourself, how are you feeling? What do you want? What do you think? And like, how do you feel instead of just like focusing on all your work and your deadlines? Number three, sensory rest. This is like exactly what I had in mind when I wanted to be like offline and not even like filming or talking. I get super overwhelmed and also just really bad like tension headaches and strained eyes from editing all day, being on my phone all day, screens on screens on screens. It is just, it feels unhealthy. And so I would love to get better about like not using my phone at night. It is like just such a bad habit. Creative rest, which is important for problem solvers and creators. If you especially do art for your living, like for your job, it can be really, really hard because you can't really take creative breaks. But I think a way to interpret this would be to try and find some inspiration outdoors because it does say that. And I do find that like when I went to the museum or went to a new part of town, I feel so creatively inspired. Emotional rest. Emotional exhaustion is becoming more and more pertinent in our society, especially for those with people-pleasing tendencies. I have a tendency to overexert myself and try and, you know, fix everyone's problems. I just have to take a step back and um, I think that that is okay to say that, you know, I don't have the capacity to deal with this right now. I can't respond to everything and that's okay. Social rest, I think this is really important, especially right now as we start socializing more. I've been feeling way more exhausted after socializing and that's okay. I know it's been a full year and you probably want to like go out every time anyone invites you right now, but it's okay to say no. You will feel better and you will have a better time at these events if you aren't overexerted and like socially exhausted. So make sure to recharge in whatever way that is for you. Then the last type of rest is spiritual rest, which can look like connecting on a spiritual level to something greater than your personal goals. That is the post. I will link it below. It is by Intersectional Environmentalist on Instagram, which is a great follow if you don't already follow them. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't. Don't forget to check out Monica Vinader jewelry. I seriously haven't stopped wearing all of those pieces and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye guys.